Troy and Abed in the morning. Nice. Troy and Abed. A friendship duo we could all look up to, but a development that was somewhat unlikely and unplanned at the beginning of community. However, a change I'm pleased about. Although I have to admit that I was kind of confused at first about why they were suddenly so close, but I just thought that when you're older and especially in a community college, that unlikely friendships would just form. And what an unlikely friendship it is. A former popular football player and an outcast who's somewhere on the spectrum. However, for this friendship to work, Troy had to fundamentally change as a character from the kind of jerky jock to the beloved himbo with a nerdy side. And through this character development, Troy became one of the most popular characters on the show and his disappearance became quite apparent when the actor left the show in season 5. Nonetheless, Troy's character added to the charm of the show in season 1 to 4 and the few episodes he was in in season 5. And yes, I said season 4 and although I do not I really do not want to talk about the gas leak year. Troy was definitely the best part of it. And I do have to admit that I personally do not rewatch the episodes as often in which Troy is no longer there. Yes, I know, I'm so sorry, but I still like them, but it's just not quite the same. His humor added something special to the show that made it really outstanding and unique, especially since Donald Glover improvised a lot of his lines, and combined with Abed, it was a friendship that I have never seen before back then on TV, and it was kind of remarkable for the time it was broadcasted as it was rather unlikely to see an African-American and half Arabic, half Polish man represented on TV in such a positive way, their friendship then being a really healthy representation of a male friendship was also quite fascinating to me, as they put it before anything else, but it also showed to the audience that it is okay to show affection to your male friends and that platonic love is just as important as romantic love, which is a message that is still very important today, at least in my opinion. The show rather therefore offered a quite modern look on how male friendships can look like and also shout how liberating it is to show affection and not be constantly afraid of how to be a proper man and how to act like a man. It at the same time confronted society's expectations and the way we perceive and what we expect of man, which again was something I have never seen before back then. Nonetheless, through Troy's change as a character, he became more fitting as Abed's friend, since his weirdness could now shine through and through that change, they now became closer and the characters grew together, and through this, the audience did so too. Some might say it sounds ridiculous that community is in some way an educational show, however, it did indeed show how to approach healthy adult friendships and mature in them. However, not only together did they show to me what it means to grow up, but also individually. Let's start with Troy Barnes. Which would make me 20, because everyone is 10 for two years. Because fifth grade is really hard for everyone. Mom, how many lives have I been living? In episode 10 in season 2 titled Mixology Certification, the gang celebrates Troy's 21st birthday, and for this special day they decide to visit a bar. What was so unique about this episode was first of all the change of setting, 
the episode mostly takes place in the bar they want to visit, and through this, they are no longer surrounded by the known environment of the community college. But we now see the characters in a new setting, and as a viewer, you slowly realize that this just does not work. They no longer can be the over the top characters, as this does not function in the real reality. You might first be taken aback by it, since it does not give the audience what it usually does. The show really slows down in this episode, and there are overall fewer jokes. In general, the episode is kind of, I don't know, not depressing, but somewhat heart wrenching, as one sees how the characters are just not able to cope in an overall normal setting. And in the center of it all is Troy, who expected adulthood to be kind of different, but as he sees how unhappy everyone is and that Britta and Jeff were fighting the whole night about which bar to go to, although they were talking about the same bar, he realizes that adulthood is just as confusing as the years before and that no one really knows what is wrong or even right. And with this realization, acceptance follows, which makes him the most grown person in the whole group. You hear that? Humbugs. Humbugs? Yeah, a whole swarm of them. See? Everyone stay perfectly sincere. Humbugs are attracted to sarcasm. In episode 11 in season 2, titled Arbet's Uncontrollable Christmas, Arbet imagines everything to be climation, and the study group goes on an imagined trip in order to find out what the true meaning is of Arbet's sudden extreme detachment of reality. As the episode goes on, we learn that Abbott's mother will not visit him this year in order to keep up their tradition, as she has found a new family, which she has to take care of. Abbott does not know how to cope with the sudden change and therefore escapes in a sort of fantasy that appears to be logical to him. Nonetheless, as the episode proceeds, the study group shows them that Christmas does not have to mean that he has to spend time with his mother, but that he can add whatever meaning he wants to add to it, which is the meaning of Christmas, the belief that it has a meaning, and for him it can now be the study group or his new found family, and the idea of a found family is always very heartwarming to me, as they choose to be together. It is also a part of growing up as you slowly but steadily begin to distance yourself from your family in order to find yourself and your place in the world, and your friends therefore become a crucial part of the new season of your life. However, why friends are prevalent and a big part of growing up, letting go of them is also, unfortunately, part of it, which we go through with Arbet and Troy in Season 5, Episode 5, Geothermal Escapism, in which Arbet has a quite immature reaction to Troy's departure, in which he wants to play one last game with the whole community college. The floor is made of lava, a rather childish game for the mature emotions he has to deal with. Troy was the first person who truly cared for him. He might have not have always understood him, but at least he tried not to judge him for his perceived weirdness, but rather indulged in it and showed the viewer how fun it is to do something else. Again, however, Abed escaped in a fantasy in which he tries to force Troy to play the game forever. Yet his childishness cannot win, he has to learn that letting go of his friends is also a part of being a good friend, and although it is heartbreaking to let go of one's best friend, it is also a part 
of growing up, and with Troy's departure, Abed has partly overcome his fear of change. I mean, it is still there, especially in the following episodes, but it is another step into adulthood. Come on, Troy. Come on, Abed. By the way, when I cloned you, I had to pass missing parts of your DNA with genes from a homing pigeon. You may notice side effects, like a compulsion to come back. Cool. Clone hug. Hello, watchers. This is the Watcher. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really wanted to make this because Troy and Abbott are my favorite characters in Community and Community is probably my favorite comedy show and I just wanted to make this and I hope you liked it and yeah if you did please like and subscribe and yeah see you next time bye